Hello there, I wanted to show my uh, latest device. So I've not uploaded anything for a little while, but this is something I've just wanted to show. I've spent a little few days trying to get it trying to get it working right. I think I'm there anyway. I've got it uh, charging this NICAD. This is a NICAD I built from uh, loose cells and I put it together. Some of the cells are not in great condition, so I'm just using this thing to rejuvenate it. This is pretty potent. It's the, um, the Alexor device. But what I've done is increase the amount of circuits from one to six. Um, this thing is a little bit like the Bedini solid state Bedini motor, but you're using a 555 trigger. Um, so it's like a timing circuit, so you're not triggering through the coils like you normally do. Um, it's a really, really good build. It's a, it'd be interesting to hear what other people have, um, the results of the people I've got from you building and playing with, with this thing. Uh, I'm not using the right transistors actually, I'm using just using the MJL 21194s on here which you normally use with the Bedini but on the on the diode side I'm using the UF Ultrafast 5408s. Uh, I think the one in 5408s, the UF 5408s I think they are. And the, um, the base resistance I'm I'm just running with 50 ohms and across the circuits I've got 1k. So that's what I've done with this. The other thing, if you're planning on building this and you're building the basic circuit, follow what it says, don't use more than 200 windings on the coil. Um, it doesn't need it. It really doesn't need it because otherwise what you're doing then is you're, you're just adding to the resistance, not increasing the power anyway. So just follow, follow what it says. It's a really good circuit, but it would be interesting to hear what uh, results other people have had with this. Anyway, I think that's about it from me. So anyway, thanks for watching.